Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the directive in Angular 50. So if we talk about the directive, then directive are used to manipulate the DOM. What is the meaning of the DOM? It's basically document object model. And what is the meaning of the manipulation? So for an example, like I have an HTML and in this HTML, I want to show some data based on the condition now for an example like one div i want to show when uh, like if the amount is greater than 10 then that div color is red otherwise in the blue so we are manipulating the uh, like uh, html based on the condition or at the runtime so for that purpose uh, like the things like for an example we are using the ng uh, module or any switch case so kind of the things comes uh, as a directive like those things called the directive so directive are element which used to change the appearance behavior or a layout of dom element it also help us to extend html as well what is the meaning of the extend now for an example particular div i want to show on the particular condition so we are extending the html as well so if we talk about the type of the directive in the angular 15 so they are component directive a structural directive and attribute directive so we are going to discuss about all these three one by one if we talk about the component directive so this directive is used in main class this directive contains the details how component should proceed and how it should use at the runtime an angular application has at least one component which is attached with a template along with the behavior so it is a component directive in the sense like when we are going to create a component so that is also a directive next is the structural directive so a structural directive start with start star sign these directives are used to manipulate and add or remove element from the dom elements now for an example like if i were to give ng if star um, ng switch or ng4 so these are the basically we are manipulating dom element at the runtime so these are the structural directive that we are going to discuss in the coming videos like we are going to discuss about the ng ng switch or ng4 so everything we are going to discuss about the next videos so these are the structural directive next is the attribute directive so attribute directive are used to modify the look and the behavior of dom element so basically there are two type of the attribute directive we are having one is the ng class directive and next is the ng style directive the ng class directive is used to change css class in the html element like uh, and like another is the ng style directive so this ng style directive used to change the style of html element with the using of the expression now for an example like if i will go here and the html so in the app component html we have given this one so this is the style uh, like uh, attribute and if we are having the class like css this is the class if i'm going to write anything here so that is the basically called the ng class directive so this is all about the directive and the decorator uh, directive in the angular 50 so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you